Hi, everyone. My name is Prashant. I'm a fourth year medical student at George Washington in D.C., also applying to integrated vascular this year. Um, I had a question for Dr. Rajani and Dr. Berlin. Can you walk us through a typical week um, in your clinical life, um, including the types of cases you do, your admin obligations, your time for research, and anything you else uh, you think is pertinent? Sure, uh, happy to talk about that. Um, the, the beauty of this is, you know, as, as a med student, as a resident, you know, you're kind of told where to be and when, and there's a lot asked of you. As you kind of become an attendee and start working, you're kind of an adult and you kind of run your own schedule. So I'll tell you what I do on a week by week basis, but it's the, the, it's the schedule that I created for myself. And if I wanna make my kids uh, 12 o'clock, you know, play, uh, that he's in, I'll, I'll, I'll shut my office hours down or shut, you know, some, I'll block out some time and do it. And that you can't do that as a med student and resident, but you do have that in life. And I think one of the thoughts is it's so demanding. You don't have that family life. That's an old school mentality. It, it is what you make of it. And in this day and age, you can get, you can have it all. I do. I do think that is true. You, you can be the surgeon and also be at home and be available. My day to day Mondays, I do all endovascular procedures. We have an office based practice where we do procedures, multiple um, endovascular procedures, and I do those on Mondays, love that. Tuesday is my main OR day, and I'll do everything from an aneurysm to a carotid, uh, to any kind of open kind of peripheral bypass, dialysis access creation, amputation if it needs to happen. Um, some complex deep venous disease, some of the deep venous uh, problems that are gonna need multiple stents, we don't do those in an office setting, we'll do those in the main OR. Wednesdays, patients all day long. I'll see 30 patients. Dr. Rajani was talking about that longitudinal care. I love that part of it. That's why, you know, I think vascular is so appealing. I'll see 30 patients. Um, and I just think of medicine docs who just, that's their every day. That's my Wednesday. And if you're in medicine, that's your every day uh, kind of lifestyle. I'll see 30 and, and probably book four or five procedures out of those 30 patients. So it's not like I'm seeing 30 patients and booking 29 procedures. Um, so there's a lot of patients that are coming in for follow-up, some new patient visits that just are going to require follow-up. Um, so I love those days. Thursdays, I kind of have a mix between um, vein procedures and endovascular procedures. And on Fridays, I'll kind of toggle back and forth between a full day of office hours again, or um, my office-based practice doing endovascular procedures. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll briefly just piggyback. Dr. Berlin is 1,000. I, I can't agree more. I mean, the um, you'll have such an incredible degree of control over your life that is hard to envision what that means right now. Listen, there's sacrifices, right? If you say, I want to be a cardiac surgeon, but I only want to work one day a month, you're probably getting a pay cut if that's your plan, right? Or there's going to be something that you have to sacrifice. But you'd be surprised how, like, the whole lifestyle piece that I'm sure we'll talk about more is a really interesting concept, your life is going to be hard during residency, whatever you go into it. They're, they're pretty homogenous and they're all pretty tough. Once you become an attending and you, you find what appeals to you, you will forge your situation around what your life needs out of it, quite honestly, whether that be what your, your family needs out of you, or your parents need out of you, or whatever you personally need out of it. And that's, that's really important to, to, to rush through it. Um, I picked up a lot of administrative responsibilities in the last year. So Monday is, um, a big education day for me, helping to forge what the education platform at our university looks like and how we're changing it. Tuesday is my clinic day, and it's been my clinic day my entire career. And Wednesday is my big OR day. I'll usually have two rooms and a fellow and be able to, to bounce back and forth. Thursday, I do an outreach clinic about 45 minutes away from the hospital, which is a really nice smaller clinic. It's low acuity, but it's a really nice um, longitudinal uh, place to hang out with primary care docs and, and get them to refer low risk problems and so forth. And then Fridays, I'll either be uh, operating a little bit or covering for one of my partners, or a lot of time that's some research time as well. Um, call is interspersed throughout there, as you can imagine, and call is very different depending on what type of hospital you're at. But it, you absolutely will and can tailor what your week looks like to what works for 